Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Delaney and I have an 11 month old French Bulldog Monte Carlo, but this video is about him. First of all, I do want to apologize for taking so much time off of YouTube. I've been traveling like crazy. Um, I was in Hawaii, Virginia Beach, back from Phoenix, Charlotte so many times, but Monty's been in Phoenix this whole time being watched by my family as we were doing our travels. But I did want to give you a quick update because in the last video I did say that I was going to make this video. But basically this video is all about Monty's Boa surgery or brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome surgery. He will be having this surgery in about mid-August. So I just wanted to inform you guys what this meant, what this means for your Frenchie and just what to look out for if you are going to become a Frenchie owner. So without further ado, let's get started. So I am gonna reference my phone just so I get all of my information correct. I wanna give you guys um, the best knowledge possible. I don't wanna get anything wrong, so I am gonna reference my phone a little bit. But again, the brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome refers to a group of conditions resulting from the body conformation of dogs with short noses. So this is in various breeds, such as English and French Bulldogs, Pugs, Shih Tzus, um, other breeds with longer noses such as Cavalier King Charles Spaniards and like Bull Terriers can also be affected, but it's less common. So breeds with short noses have a compacted skeleton skeleton. Um, basically, obviously their airway is smushed inward. This includes their nasal cavities, their spine, their tails. They do have normal amounts of soft tissue though, which is good. Their soft tissue is therefore excessive for their skeleton, explaining the amount of skin folds brace phallic dogs have on their faces and bodies, if that makes sense. Basically, the reason they're wrinkly is because they still have the same amount of soft tissue, but their faces are smushed inwards. So the list of abnormalities and conditions most commonly seen in brace phallic dogs can be explained by its characteristic conformation. So a lot of like the symptoms and stuff Monty has are is snoring, um, he pants excessively when he's hot, um, because it's a lot harder for him to breathe. He likes to sleep with stuff in his mouth because his that way his mouth can be open. He can intake more air. He also had acid reflux problems for the first probably seven months of his life. Um, there's a lot of symptoms and stuff that these dogs can have, but basically it's just the main one is difficulty breathing. The diagnosis of brachycephalic syndrome is primarily clinical. Uh, it's based on the combination of the signs that you, and symptoms you see at home and the type of sounds the dog makes when breathing and then paired with a physical examination, which Monty had in late June. So in terms of the surgery Monty will be getting, he will be getting both the nares and the soft palate surgery done. The nares is basically going to be where they widen his nostril, so he will be able to intake more air through his nose because right now he has mild to severe stenosis, which means that his nose, his nostrils are pushed inward and he has barely any opening in his nose to be able to breathe. And the second thing is so or, um, shortening his soft palate. They will take some of the skin out of his throat, that way his throat isn't as closed. So again, Monty will be having this surgery in mid-August. I will update you guys after the surgery is complete. I will show you before and after pictures. And again, please educate yourself if you're going to be getting one of these brachycephalic breeds because this is a common occurrence um, due to the just the way that they're bred. Um, they have these issues. Now, this isn't a surgery that is 100% necessary in all Frenchies, um, and it doesn't have to be done in any of them. It's just going to improve his quality of life and maybe even his life expectancy because it won't be as hard on his body to have to breathe. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what kind of content you'd like to see from me. I am still in Phoenix and I will try to get as many videos out as I can while I'm here, but the next video you see will, uh, might be Monty's recovery process, which I might do vlog style, just so you can see all vlog taking him in, kind of picking, like picking him up. He will have to stay overnight one to two nights, um, but then I'll do the whole recovery process, what medications he needs to take, pain relievers, that kind of thing. So you guys can see all of that in the whole journey. But I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.